Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you inside Algebra1Coach.com and, and let you look around the Algebra1 teacher community. Okay, and before we get started and I take you inside the actual forums, let's talk about what the forums are. The forums are a place where there we have a group of Algebra1 teachers who are all teaching the same curriculum, the curriculum that we give you. Um, they're following the same timelines, guidelines, everything. Every, every teacher inside is teaching the exact same lessons on a day-to-day -day basis that you would need. So, for example, if you have a project that you did that was awesome and you want to share it with other teachers, you can do that. We have teachers inside that share their projects and quizzes and tests and, and whatever they have made from their class. You, you can upload and share anything you want inside these forms. So on top of the full, full year's curriculum that we give you for the course, you can also share things with other teachers. So it's a place where you can communicate with people that are doing the same thing you are. All of our lesson plans, our curriculum is Common Core Aligned. Inside the curriculum, we give you online activities and video lessons for every single lesson. We give you slideshow presentations, which are all PowerPoint documents. Um, they can be opened in Google Docs, Google Slides, and you can also we also give them to you as PDFs. So if you want to share them with your students, you can easily do that in Google Classroom or the, any of these other uh, means of communication with your students. Um, we give you a bell work, which is three to five questions to start every class. These are based on the previous days. We give you guided notes, which will go along with the PowerPoint presentation. So these are kind of like um, fillable places for the students to put their examples and follow along with you as you go through the slideshow. So they're not just gazing off into space or la-la land. They actually have to sit there and pay attention to what you're going over because they're filling in the notes as you go along. We give you graphic organizers, homework assignments, obviously class assignments. Um, these are anywhere from 10 to 15, 20 questions, depending on you know the how difficult the um, topic is for the day. We'll give you the homework assignments they can do. We give these all of all of these things are editable, so you can change anything you want, add, remove problems. If you have to, um, if you teach inclusion classes and have to modify your things for your students. Um, that's very easy to do. So we give you everything in Word documents so that you can actually change anything that you want. We give you also a short exit quiz, which is another three to five questions based on the day's learning. So this is just to be a, a way for your students to show that they what they had learned through by the end of the day and for you to be able to see what they mastered so that you know where to start the next day's assignments. We give you class projects. Our class projects are we, we have about one for every unit, so um, we have, I don't know if you've seen any of our other uh, projects that we have, but we have like the, our Parabola project in Algebra 2. We have our Tessellation project that we give away for free from Geometry. So we have all kinds of projects that we give out, you know, and, and these are th great things to do around the holidays and things like that. Speaking of, we also give you holiday activities, so not just holiday activities like um, plot these points on the coordinate plane and it draws a pretty picture or you know things where it's just multiplication and division and they're very easy and kind of just a, a time killer in class. These are things that are actually aligned with the lesson that you're teaching during that time frame. So we're, if, if you're teaching, for example, slope intercept form during Christmas for whatever reason, okay, we'll, we'll have holiday activities that are based on slope intercept form as Christmas activities. So it may be still a coloring activity or something to do with the coordinate plane, but it'll actually pertain to the lesson that you're supposed to be teaching at that time. Uh, we have training courses with certificates of completion. So we all have to do um, CEU or continuing education units. Most schools accept our courses. If you want more information on that, you reach out to us on our contact form or have your school reach out to us and, and we can show them all the documentation and all that stuff. Um, so we have those. So, you know, that, that alone can save you thousands of dollars a year because courses can be expensive. And, and we give you courses and with your certificates so that you can use them for your artifacts during evaluation and things like that. Uh, and then much, much more. So every lesson we give you li literally everything you need to do from start to finish each day of your class for the entire school year. So you will have to do absolutely nothing. It takes me less than one minute to plan for the next day. So all I have to do is show up and teach. That's the beauty. We, what we give you is your free time back. So when you join the Algebra 1 teacher community, what you're going to get most is your time. So you're going to spend less time grading papers, less time dealing with um, unorganized students and things like that. And we show you how to incorporate all these things with te technologies, whether it be Google Classroom. E even if you do do the things on paper and print them out, we give you tips and training courses on how to best utilize our materials in your classroom. 
Okay, now let's take a look inside the Algebra 1 teacher community. First, let's start over here on the right-hand side. This is where you'll be able to access your um, user profile and be able to update any of your account information. You'll also be able to upload a profile picture. And then when you first sign on, you'll click here to watch a start here video training on how to just kind of maneuver your way around and find your way through the forms into the materials that you need. Down the page here, you'll see that we have different forms. Okay, these forums are, for example, here's the training course form. So if you click here, it'll give you access to be able to go to and take the training courses that you want to take. Um, and then you'll be able to print off your certificate of completion after you complete the courses and whatnot. Then you have your material below that. So as you can see, there's unit one, unit two, and, and you can go all the way down through all of the curriculum. But let's take a look at what an actual assignment will look like and what the benefits are of using these materials. So let's click on this unit one review guide for uh, the first unit here on the foundations of algebra. Once you click on this, it'll open up a PDF or Word doc or however you choose to open it. And as you can see, everything's already done for you. So this is a review guide for our whole first unit on foundations of algebra. And the cool part is, once you get down to the answer key, you will have all of the answers for every, this goes for everything, not just the review guides and the tests. This is for the assignments, the exits, quizzes, the bell work, everything. All of the problems have the work actually done for you. So instead of like a normal textbook where you just have the answers, we give you all of the work involved in solving the problems too. So it's really easy to check it. And, and as you know, in math, Anytime the answers are great and important, and it's good to get the right answers. But the most important things to the teachers are to have the actual work behind it because you can give them partial points for their uh, problems that they do. So we give you all of that. And we give you all of those things for every lesson and every unit um, for the whole Algebra 1 course. Over here, you can see there's recent topics and replies. So this is where you'll see like the most recent things that teachers are talking about. Another cool part about it is we have a search function here. So you can search for anything that you want. So for example, let's just say, let's pick a, something in unit one over here, uh, properties of real numbers. So if you were to just type in properties of real numbers and hit enter, the forms will actually take you to every lesson that has to do with properties of real numbers, and then you can download them. Okay, so once you log in, you'll you'll be able to click on any of these things. So you can see we have two units on the properties of real numbers. You click on them, and it'll take you right to those resources. So we give you 12 full units of, of everything. You get the lesson plans, you get the guided notes, the PowerPoints, the exit quizzes, the bell work, the assignments, the projects, the tests, the quizzes for everything. So your whole year is already lined up and ready to go for you to teach. So if you use things like Google Classroom, this is how simple it is to set up your test. You, you would open, add an assignment in Google Classroom, and then you would just upload this PDF document good go. So everything in here also has a student edition. So we have teacher's edition, student editions. So they're separate. There's ones with the answers and without the answers. And then like we said, we also give you the editable documents as well. So once you click on this, let's just click on one for example, it'll ask you to download the assignment to where you want to download it to and simple, put it wherever you want, use it wherever you want, print them, put them in Google Classroom, put them whatever technology you use or use in the future. So Pretty simple. That's what it looks like inside the Algebra 1 teacher community. If you guys have any questions or um, want to reach out to us and get more information on what all the, the Algebra 1 teacher community has inside, feel free to contact us on the contact form here. We usually get back to you within a few minutes. Um, our staff does a pretty good job of replying within an hour or so. So any questions that you have, go ahead and ask there. And other than that, I hope to see you all inside the Algebra 1 teacher community. And have a nice day.